we're here. Time for another drum lesson. Don't mind me, I'm just sitting here all by myself. Don't mind me. Dan's printing something, so we're gonna do eight on a hand. Should I try to go super fast? It's really, really, really fast. Right, and then you go really slow. There's a little bit of this. Yeah. That happens when you do when you when you close the back fingers. There's no stick pivot. <laughs> a lesson where I don't give you everything all at once. I kind of over the next several lessons I'll be adding new things to the page till eventually we fill it up. Oh boy. Cool. Oh boy. So roll patterns. Do you remember the slash marks? We yeah. studied this. So with this one, it was an eighth note slashed, which gave us two sixteenths. In this case, we have a quarter note with three slashes. Yeah. Okay? Basically, that equals this. Four sixteenths, mm -hmm. each with one slash. Wow. Okay. That seems complicated and So you start, <laughs> you start by playing slow singles. We go one, E, and, a, uh, two, <laughs> that was fun. I haven't done that. I haven't done that with that pattern like that uh, in a long time. Like to go that slow. That slow? Think, well, the beginning, dude. Like think about we went one, E. Oh yeah. Uh, we uh. started there, so that's really freaking slow. It wasn't until like right here. That's where where I normally do it. That's all garbage, actually. Don't post that. Okay. <laughs> but that's where it goes, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get there. When it's slow, I'm like, okay, I understand it. But just, like, when it speeds up, and then I'm like... Yeah, but, you know, when it goes faster, there's all different techniques involved. That's why. Right. So, anyways, there you go. Roll patterns. That's your nine-stroke roll. So, the nine-stroke roll, stale and dry, would just be... Uh. That's all it is. Da, 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 da. Two, four, six, eight. Right, and we just I'll decided here to put it into, you know, it's a little bit, it's more of an application of it instead of just looking at it standing on its own. I'm going very light and soft because that's, that's how I think. You can do think. it there too. You can do it there too. Right? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. You should practice everything at all dynamics. I found myself hitting really hard because I'm using the electronic and I'm like, I should like do more of the dynamics. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand this beat line. Okay, don't worry about that yet. That's okay, a separate thing. Okay. That's a separate thing. <laughs> your foot just a hair earlier. Nice, 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 nice. I love it. Now, let's come down to number two. So. Oh, that's hard. Okay. Okay, now, hold on. Yeah, yeah, hold on, help me. <laughs> of course, letting you just struggle like that, you would probably, you would get to it eventually. Eventually, but yeah. if you help me, I'll get there faster. So this is where now we're going to talk about the key. Okay. Right? So, because what's happening here, again, is we have both of our feet are being used here, which is the first time we're really doing this. We need to analyze a little how they are working together by themselves. So, okay. now look at the feet for number two. So now <laughs> what I just did is I wrote a little note right there. And that's what I said. Snare. So before we bring the hi-hat being played okay. back into it, 
let's bring in just the snare. So That's what everything is doing, and now you just have to do the right hand with the eighth note high hand, the eighth note. So when you start this drum beat, this, these will be closed, and you'll just start as if it was like that, okay? Make sense? Yes. <laughs> hey, you just did, you said. I'm off to a great start. <laughs> Confusing. All my limbs don't know which one to go. I'm so sorry. No, none of my, none of my limbs know what I'm you're doing. doing. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> Count out loud eighth notes. You're, you're starting kind of mumbling them, and then by four and you're not even saying it. So, like, <laughs> one, you know, like, say and. it. One. And. Okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> what was the changing factor here? I think it was the fact that you made me say I'm really just prominently yelling them. Exactly, I, I yeah. Because I'm it, like, why exactly. is it making a difference? Why? I've wow. had kids like yelling, like shouting. It's like, like my feet can hear me. <laughs> Breaking the feet down like that, never a bad idea. Yeah. Now we're starting to do left foot stuff, so. Okay. Yeah, and if you want to get crazy with the left foot, which I recommend. Last word. You just start to play <laughs> your eighth note rock beats. But instead of using your right hand, you use your left foot. The right hand does nothing. I mean, yeah, we can put it on the ride, but for learning, you would want to just let the right hand just hang loosely by your side, and you would just go... If that starts to feel good, you can go on the ride with the eighth notes as well. And notice when I'm playing this, I'm using a leg movement on the high end. Yeah. Right? I'm not doing this. No. This, you, should, you want to do that one? Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can pull that off. You think? Yeah, yeah. Okay. At least I can get you to play at least a basic version of it okay. for sure. And this one's fun. Plays on the low tom. Yeah. The so whole groove for the intro would be. Then the verses, very similar, but it's longer. So it's like. All right? So that's. Fun. I know, it's fun, right? <laughs> um, next beat, I'm going to show you this basic way of doing it. It's not the exact thing. I think my own death just to get attention. Why? Ice cream. The world of fear. <sighs> so that was a really good lesson and 
incredibly difficult. Adding more foot movements with my left foot, which is the hi-hat pedal. Part, I mean, I've just been dreading all four limbs acting independently. To have my two legs involved and like lifting up both my legs at the same time and hitting them down. But hey, that, that's the point, right? You get to these parts where they're really, really difficult and then you have something to really work on. Everything else that I've been working on up until this point has been something that feels very natural and I'm just getting the right habits, hitting in the right time and keeping the time and having the finesse of how I hit things. Now we're doing something where there's a little more involvement in my muscles and what they're doing. As you could tell, I struggled quite a bit in this lesson, but I also, of course, had an, an amazing time, and Muse is one of my favorite bands, so being able to play a Muse song was really, really fun to do with Dan. Playing along with Dan is easy. He can instruct while he plays just like nobody's business. While he was playing along with me to help me follow after showing me how the parts go, he was showing me hand signals to say, okay, it's two times, it's three times, because there's these hits that are two and three and so on. And he was able to play and look up and say two and then like play and then look up and give me end with the right amount of time before I have to hit it. I've had experiences like this with Dan before in our rehearsals when I would just be playing around and so I'd go and play on his drum kit and just pretend I knew what he was doing. And he used to teach out of our lockout so he had two kits and he would do the same thing. He'd play something on the kit and like guide me with his eyes and his gestures and he's really really good at that. Being able to do that wordless communication is such a big part of being in a band and definitely a big part of being a teacher who plays a really loud instrument. And Dan just, he just excels at that. I love playing with him for that reason and I really love learning from him for that reason. Thank you so, so much for watching and continuing to join me on this journey. If you love music and everything music, please follow, please subscribe, please follow me on all the social media. Uh, I am Ainine on all of the platforms and just see what I'm up to on a regular basis. I do a lot of things in music. I work with a lot of musicians. So, you know, follow us, see what's happening. And I hope to see you all very soon. Looking forward to the next lesson. Bye!